Brad Pitt is putting his considerable clout and star power behind his latest project. It's a movie that deals with a dark time in American history. It's called 12 Years a Slave. I want to ask you what part of the country you come from. I originate from Canada. In spite of placing Brad Pitt prominently in the trailer for 12 Years a Slave, the actor is not the star of this movie. That job goes to British actor Shiwetel Ejiofor, who does a magnificent job of taking us along this difficult journey through the life of a slave. Ejiofor is Solomon Northup, a free black who was kidnapped, sold into slavery, and forced to work on various plantations in Louisiana. The film is based on his memoir by the same name. Not only does it show the brutality with which slaves were treated, but it demonstrates the moral ambiguity with which seemingly morally upright whites approach the buying and selling of human beings. Edgio Forage joined on screen by fellow Brit Michael Fassbender as a plantation owner who can only be nicely described as masochistic. You come here. Master Atha. I said come here! I brought her back just like you. Brad Pitt may be a big winner during award season, not for his on-screen work, but for his presence behind the scenes as one of the producers. Edgio Four may be the man to beat in the Best Actor category. For him, the story has a great message for moviegoers. This is a film about love in the end of the day, and uh, it's a film about uh, a man, you know, who loves his family uh, and is trying to, to get back to them. In my humble opinion, 12 Years a Slave should be required viewing for all school-aged children 12 and older. The movie has received the Critics' Choice seal. I'm Alicia Stanford for The Hollywood Spotlight Now.